oil flows from the power pack through the supply valve to a cylinder chamber and returns through the return valve. At rest, both valves remain open and oil circulates. The valves and accumulators are shown next to the hammer. In fact, they are in the hammer. The chamber above the piston is filled with a compressed gas. When the hammer is set in operation, the return valve closes and the ram rises. At the end of the lifting phase, the delivery valve closes and the return valve opens. The ram then falls and receives additional force from the gas pressure above the piston. This results in an acceleration of 2G. A stroke of 1 meter is therefore equivalent to a drop height of 2 meters. By changing the gas pressure, the acceleration of the ram can be changed independently of the hydraulic drive. It's therefore possible to generate maximum piling power even when operating at an angle. Energy per blow can be controlled from 5 to 100% of maximum by changing the valve opening and closing times. The number of blows can vary from 30 to 150 per minute. During driving, the ram directly strikes the special anvil sitting on top of the pile. For steel piles, cushioning is not required. The energy control and energy readout are initiated by a sensor on the hammer housing. Necessary information is picked up by the sensor and fed to the control panel.